ladies let's get into this natural curl texture i'm giving y'all right now how cute is this so check it out so after i took out my last crochet installment i wanted to do something that was quick that was fast that wasn't going to take me forever to put in but i also wanted to wanted it to still look natural and you know natural like my normal curl pattern so i decided to do my very own clip in Okay, so starting off, what I used was some regular wig clips, a needle, thread, and I have some glue over there just to, and y'all see in a minute why I got that glue there. Alright, so right now I'm showing y'all the texture of the hair. Um, I had got this hair from SamsBeauty.com. It's the Jerry Curl brand. And right here is what it looks like after you pick the curls out with your fingers, like I finger combed it out, you know, to make it look more natural and give it that, you know, nice natural texture. So I'm showing you the comparison from when you pick it out with your fingers and then when you don't fluff it out. So right here I got all the tracks fluffed out. And y'all previously had this hair just laying around, so it's not recently bought. Alright, so this is what I used the glue for. I decided to glue the tracks together instead of sewing them together because I found for me sewing the tracks together you know to double them up was very very tedious it took a long time so I decided hey I'm supposed to glue these things together and you know be on my merry little way so that's what I did here So after I glued them together, I took my um, little flat iron and pressed it on there to make sure that it was properly sealed so that way it would, it would dry quicker and seal real good at the same time. And yeah, some of it got on the flat iron, but if you wipe it off, wipe the glue off the flat iron while it's still hot, it comes right off. So after I sealed the tracks together, I put my clips on there and here I am sewing those clips on there. I put two clips on some tracks and then on the bigger tracks I put three clips so this is how I sew the clips on there okay and this is just showing you guys my my uh, braid pattern very simple straight back and then I had some leave out on the sides and at the top and my leave out is a whole lot because my hair is kind of long so but as you're gonna see in a minute I braided some of that leave out back up all right, so after I got finished with my braid pattern, I just took the clips and I clipped them all on there, y'all. And this is the finished result. And excuse the little, you know, dots, but it's that time of the month, ladies, so what do you do? <laughs> all right, so yeah, this is how it turned out after I clipped them all on there. And as you can see, I have a lot less leave out than what I did earlier. And this is what it looks like after I took the leave out out and blended it in with my hair. And you guys, my hair texture and my curl pattern is exactly like the Jerry Curl curl pattern. Alright ladies, and that is it. So this is the end result. And I used two colors, the blonde and then a light brown. I think it was a number two. And I put the light brown at the bottom and then the blonde at the top, which is a 27. And it turned out really cute, you guys. I just absolutely love it because it looks so natural. Thanks, ladies. Talk to you guys later. God bless. Peace, y'all. What's going on with your nose? Did you clean your nose? Oh, Sanjaya. Hold this. Alexia, come here. Go clean your nose. Go wipe it again. It's run it and go blow it. I think one more time. I tried to have him do it, but he. I don't have no idea, but.